Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, I am bringing you the Nissan 370Z. As you can see, guys, I have it spawned right here. And uh, also, guys, if you guys are into GTA 5 mods, please do consider subscribing as I do upload them pretty often. Um, and if you guys want to see anything else in the future, let me know. Um, but today, guys, I am bringing you guys another car mod. So this is a 370Z. It is a Nismo. Um, I'm not too caught up on Nissans and I'm not too sure what that means. But if you guys do know, um, please let me know down in the comment section below. I am personally a huge muscle car fan, American Muscle, right? Camaros, Mustangs, uh, Challengers, and Chargers. Um, but this car, nonetheless, is still a sweet ride. We'll be showing you guys some, you know, how to install this mod. It is a pretty straightforward mod, and uh, so I just want to show you guys a quick uh, little. Uh, I'll show you what this car is about. Um, so for the sound, it sounds like a normal car in GTA. So nothing too special on the sound. Um, it drives like a normal car. Um, the first person is pretty nice. Uh, everything, like all the dials are there, the speedometer, the RPMs are in, is in the middle, just like how you would see in the in the real thing in real life. I'm going first person. So these are the tires. It is a it says proxies. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, here is a full 360 degree view about the car. You got your red calipers. Uh, Nissan logo, Nis uh, Nismo logo right there. Let me get in, let me pop the trunk. Or let me pop the hood, I should say. I keep saying trunk. All right, guys, so I'll pop the trunk, uh, sh the hood. And let me show you guys. Also, here is a little interior look. So it actually looks really, really nice. So you can see, guys, it is everything is like pretty detailed, like crazy. Everything, all the stitching looks really good. You got the Z logo in the center of the of the steering wheel. It looks like a manual shift there. This thing is clean. You got the red seats uh, and the non-existent back seats. <laughs> red stitching on the door as well. Um, the trunk actually does not pop open. I just hit all, and it didn't seem to pop up. But here's a uh, the important thing. So. Uh, I'm not too sure. This looks a little empty. I don't think the real thing looks like this, but if it does, then they got a spot on. But I just see the engine. I see two twin turbos. That's about it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much how the hood looks popped. Although it does look clean, but it looks a little too simple. But yeah, here's your car, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I'll hop in real quick, take it for a little spin. Let me uh, close everything if I crash it. There we go. You got the pretty clear 370Z logo on the back. Then there's more again the Nissan logo on the back. I like that red lining on the bottom um, by the rear diffuser. Does that actually look, it gives it a really nice touch. I think the, the sides have it, the front has it, and the front lip, the, the splitter. All right, this car is pretty clean. And uh, the way you spawn it too, I should put this in here. So if you go to vehicle options and menu or anyway, um, but if you guys are using menu, the way you spawn is by going to menu, oh, sorry, vehicle spawner. Oops, oh, I hate that. And then go, let's do it again. Vehicle, sp uh, vehicle spawner, and then go to input model. Type in 370Z, so pretty straightforward. And they'll spawn another one for you. So here's one in blue. And for customization, there is not too much of this car, unfortunately. And uh, here, let me show you guys. So it's pretty much just, uh, so everything's pretty standard. Uh, besides like the door, I mean, you could change like the, the windows. Oh my gosh. All right, you got the black tent. Got, uh, what else? That's pretty much it, guys. The color, you know, you can change the color on the car, obviously. But nothing super special, but it's still something nice to add to your arsenal if you're into these type of cars. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, and then I'll show you guys how to install it really quick. All right, guys, welcome back. So here's the mod. So it is a 2016 Nissan 370Z Nismo Z34, and what we're gonna be doing is gonna be adding it on. So we're not replacing anything today. Um, we're just gonna uh, pretty much just add it onto the game. So I will link this in the description, guys. Let's go ahead and download it real quick, and then once you download it, I should be pretty quick. But this mod again, let me just say it's, it is by Celine. So it looks like. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. And then what we are going to do is, if it pops up any second, there we go. Uh, make sure you do extract the guys and open up OpenIV while that extracts. So I have OpenIV. So this is what you should first be brought to, just the root of OpenIV, right? The root of GTA 5. Uh, first thing you want to do, guys, go to mods. 
go to update go to x64 go to dlc packs and once you're here guys here is the path once again mods update x64 dlc packs once you're here guys as you can see i already have a couple cars as you can see here i already have the car as well which is 370 easy so what we're gonna do guys is once it extracts um go ahead and open it up so here it is so this is what the folder that you're gonna get once you download it and extract it so this is what you're gonna see go ahead and click inside of it and then go into the add-on go to mods go to update x64 dlc pack so as you can see guys kind of same path that's here um, but once you actually see 370z what you're going to want to do now is go to edit mode and open iv so you can drag and drop and you're just going to drag and drop so drag drop into this folder boom there it is so it should be right there 370z i already have it so nothing really changed um but that's where you're going to be putting it go to mods and now so that's two steps so there's two steps to install the car and then we need one more so we did one of two go to update again go to update our rpf common data and then so here's the path again mods update update rpf common data scroll down dlc list edit and then once you edit it guys go down to the bottom and you're gonna want to highlight this right here so as you can no sorry not this this is what you want so this is exactly what you want so i want to delete it and i'll show you guys how i did that so pretty much I just copy any random one because all we want to do is just have this format this item format go to copy and then go to the last line really but above this path so make sure it is inside so make sure it's above it's anywhere really and then what you want to do is delete what's inside these two slashes right delete what's inside so for this one it's going to be a80 if you copy you to say this one you want to delete this right here that's in the center so for us it's going to be a80 delete that and just type in the name of the folder of the mod which is right here so this is the 370z so want to type in 370z make sure it is identical guys i believe it is cap sensitive so make sure you type it in identically how it is so here it is a 370 lower kz 370 lower kc and for me it's not gonna work because i have the game open um, but you would just hit save i'm gonna get this error and that's pretty much it guys the mod is installed so let me know what you guys think about this mod guys if you guys want to see any other particular cards let me know and i'll see what i can find and i'll upload it for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoy make sure you give, give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next one right take care